Thank you for buying Red Sea's Alkalinity Pro test kit. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how the test is meant to be performed. Before doing the test for the first time, make sure you read the detailed instructions in the manual provided with the kit. After that, you can use the graphic quick instructions which are also provided as a ready reference for carrying it out. To do the test, we start with taking 10 ml of the aquarium water to be tested. Make sure you're accurate in setting the 10 ml in the syringe and transfer it to the test valve. There are no other reagents to use for the alkalinity, so you can screw the valve straight onto the titrator. And now we have to fill our syringe. When filling the syringe, make sure you keep the tip of the syringe in the titron at all times and then adjust the level so that the, the bottom of the plunger is on the 1 ml mark. Now place the syringe into the center of the titrator. Make sure that the scale is opposite so you can see the reading at the end of the titration. I'm now performing the titration and as I slowly add in the titron our sample starts going a blue color and I keep going and I'm looking for a nice pink color at the end. The important thing is to keep on shaking throughout the titration so that there's good mixing between the titron and the water sample and as we get closer to the end we have to start adding dropwise but making sure all the time we are shaking the sample it's beginning to get a little bit pink and we're looking for a good pink and we'll be there in a couple more drops that's purple and one more drop and we are there at the end point I look at the syringe and I can now see that I've used 0.77 of titrant. I look at the card and I look for 0.77. I can see that that gives me 3.85 milliequivalents and about 10.75 dKH. And that's the end of the alkalinity test.